Wondering if now is the right time? The right time to start a business? The right time to expand your business? The right time to take a new job? The right time to find new love? Well, in this video, I want to give you five signs that will tell you whether now is the right time. As always, before we get started, make sure you hit that bell and you subscribe to our channel so you can never miss when new episodes become available here every week. Welcome to Powerhouse Business on YouTube. I'm your host, Carolyn Soldo. I'm a business owner, business scaling master, and mom of two boys. I love thinking big, pushing boundaries, and doing things differently. Most of all, I'm all about achieving massive growth with ease and helping you scale your business by living the life you love. Let's go. The first thing I want to talk to you about is time. What I see so many people do is stay stuck because they don't think they have the time. And that is the first thing you need to look at. When you feel like you have sufficient time to do something and be really, really honest with yourself, then it's a sign that you should take action. Now, how much time do you need? That really depends on what it is you want to accomplish, right? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to get fit? Do you want to start a new business? Do you want to expand your business? Do you want to grow your career? It really depends on what you want to do. So be really realistic in terms of how much time it really requires. Most of the time, people overestimate how much time they actually need. So if you ask me how much you know, time, how many hours a week do I need to expand my business? I would say you know, five to 10. If you could give me an additional two hours a day, and I could focus you in on specific tasks and activities only. I could save you time by giving you focus and direction and you spend an hour or two a day really executing those things, you, we would be able to expand your business in really powerful ways. At the same time, if you were to start a new business, maybe 10 hours a week would be sufficient as well to help you really focus on the most important steps you need to take to get that new business off the ground. Again, those are averages, those are estimates, it depends on the situation you're in. But sign number one is that you feel you have the time to dedicate to what it is you want to do. Sign number two is how you feel about it. I believe that your emotions are your compass, they're your guidance system. And your emotions tell you if something is right for you or not. Now, I'm not saying jump into it blindly, but if you're thrilled about it, if you feel you know, drawn to it, excited about it, if you feel happy when you think about this new idea, then chances are it is for you because otherwise you would not feel so aligned with what you're thinking about. So trust your emotions. Your emotions are there for a reason. They're your inner guidance system, your inner compass telling you what you should be doing next. The third sign is how often you think about it. So when I find myself going through my days and I literally think about this idea that I'm not sure about all day long, or at least every single day, once a day, it's top of mind. It comes up again and again and again, and I daydream about it, and I journal about it, and I tell my friends about it, and it doesn't go away, then I know that this is something I really should be doing and now is the right time. Because I consider it, I evaluate it, it's in my thoughts, it's in my mind, you know, every single day. And I know that means that now is the time for me to take action. Sign number four is how you would feel if you didn't do it. If you think you would feel regretful, if you would feel, you know, sad, if you would feel disappointed, then now is the time for you to take action because how much time do we really have? You may think you have another 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and hopefully you have all the years you deserve, right? We all want to live a, a long life, but clearly the older I get anyway, the more I see that time is very limited and you never know what's waiting for you around the corner. And so all we ever have is right now. It's right now. The past is gone. All I can do is learn from the past and appreciate the experiences I was given. The future hasn't been created yet. So what do I have? I have what I can do right now, the action I can take right now that will then make my future come true, right? What I do today 
drives the reality I will be living in a month from now, in six months from now, in a year from now. So if you think about the future and you think you will be mad at yourself for not taking action, then you know for a fact that right now is the right time for you to start. And the last sign is the support and the people you have around you. Now, this is a tricky one because this does not mean that everybody has to be so excited about your idea. As a matter of fact, there will be many naysayers. There will be people who will say, this is risky. You don't have the time. You don't have the money. You don't know how to do this. This is you know, not right for you. Wait until next year. Wait until you make more money. Wait until the government changes. Wait until it's summer. Wait until something else happens. But why? What's really going to be different when all these things change? Will you be better off? Will you be smarter? Will you have more time? Honestly, you really don't know, right? Nobody can foresee the future. So why not now? Why not right now? I want for you to make progress, even if it's baby steps, even if you only write one sentence a day, you will be further ahead than the people that don't do anything. So you can stay stuck and say, I'm not doing this right now. I'm gonna do it in six months. Or you can take baby steps right now and you will be you know, miles ahead of the people who haven't done anything in just uh, you know, six months or a year from now. And now I would love to hear from you. Did you have any aha moments today? How do you know that now is the right time for you to take action? And what do you want to do? Let's have a conversation. I would love to hear from you down below in the comments and find out what you're looking to do and what you're trying to decide and if now is the right time for you to take action. If you like this episode, give us a like, share it with your friends, especially if you know someone who's trying to make the right decision right now and figure out if now is the right time for them. Maybe this video can help them. I believe that our message can help people you know, move forward powerfully with confidence, knowing that now is the right time for them to move towards their goals. Now stay focused on your goals and decide if now is the time for you to move forward powerfully with your goals as well. Are you a woman business owner looking for the best ways to grow your business without working more? In my most popular training, I'll show you your biggest opportunities and what might be blocking your growth right now. Let's grow your business while making real space on your calendar, experiencing ease, spending time with loved ones, automating everything that makes sense, and letting go of overwhelm. Go to bullseyefix.com to watch the video right now.